TGIF. Hey, Soapbox Nation. It's your boy, Mad Morgan. How are you today? TGIF on this Friday. Yes, this is episode 110 of Soapbox Daily. Thanks very much for tuning in today on this snowy Friday in my neck of the woods. Well, what can I say? We made it through another week. How's your integrity been this week? Are you being the positive change? Are you setting the example that the world needs? That is the question, as always. As always, that is the question. So today we're going to change things up. We're going to go with a little bit of a different pace. Today we are going to discuss, and here's a topic for today, the 30 best Christmas movies of all time. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't agree. I don't know, but uh, we're going to go over, I know 30 is a lot, right? We're going to try to get through as much as we can and give a little explanation as to the movie. And... Uh, uh, you know, maybe you can add it to your Christmas watch list of stuff to watch during the Christmas season because, yes, we are pretty much into it at this point. So let's get into this and uh, hopefully I can give you a rough idea. So here we go. Number 30, The Santa Claus. This is a Tim Allen film about a, a divorced dad who is forced to take over as Santa after accidentally killing St. Nick. Such a family loving movie. But it's Tim Allen, so it's got to be worth some laughs. Check it out. It's the, it's the Christmas movie from the 90s, The Santa Claus. The Polar Express is number 29. While some fans of the movie still debate whether or not the Polar Express characters look creepy or cute, most agree that, uh, you know, first animated holiday film by a particular producer and, and director is not bad. You be the judge, you check it out. It's, uh, it's an animated type film, but uh, I guess they're trying to add to the classics, right? So The Polar Express, check that out if you want. Number 28, The Christmas Chronicles. Well, this is Kurt Russell as Santa Claus and I'm a big Kurt Russell fan but I don't know how I feel about him being jolly old Saint Nick but you be the judge it's a Kurt Russell film called The Christmas Chronicles um you know it's an interesting one but I don't know it's probably worth a check if you are a Kurt Russell fan okay so here's one that's a little kind of off the beaten path it is called Tokyo Godfathers Okay, it's a touching little animated import from Japan, which may not seem like a Christmas like a Christmas movie at first glance, but it does take place on Christmas Eve, so it counts. But, you know, along the whole animated lines, if you want to check it out, Christmas. Number 26 is Chris, uh, sorry, Santa Claus is coming to town. It's, um, I mean, the holiday season is a nostalgic time of year. And sometimes returning to the movies we've watched as children is the best way to recapture a sense of the Christmas spirit. So, yeah, you know what? Santa Claus is coming to town. Check that one out. I mean, it is a Mickey Rooney narrated, so... That's kind of worth its weight in gold because he seems to actually capture that essence of, of Christmas time. Okay, number 25, Love Actually. It's a um, modern holiday classic, thanks in large part to how well it wears. It's occasionally sappy, always an enchanting heart on its Christmas sweatery sleeve. I think it's more like a rom-com possibility. Number 24, Happiness Season. Happiest Season is another one. Black Christmas 1974 is number 23. Arguably the ultimate expression of the Christmas horror film. So if you're into a Christmas horror film, you want to get scared from a 1974 classic, check out Black Christmas. Let's see here. Number 22, It Happened on Fifth Avenue. So one of the old Hollywood's most rewatched films is, is It Happened on Fifth Avenue. It's a charming and and it's as effective now as it was when it first came out. A mix of rom-com and holiday drama, the movie centers on a rich businessman who discovers that a drifter has been living in his luxury New York townhouse. It's kind of fun. Uh, the, oh, number 21, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Can't go wrong with The Muppets. Check out The Muppets, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Number 20, we have Scrooge. Scrooge is, uh, I like Bill Murray. So you can't go wrong with Scrooge. If you like Bill Murray, what's not to love about Bill? He's awesome. So let's look at number 19, Bad Santa with Billy Bob Thornton. If you like a little bit of Billy Bob, He's worth watching. It's Bad Santa. Not really a family film. More on the adult side of things. Claus is your next one. Claus is, is, is full of beautiful moments and sometimes shocking visuals as it finds new ways to, to mine what Christmas really means. So it's something. And it's Claus with a K. So K-L-A-U-S if you start looking for it on Netflix. Number 17, Remember the Nights. As I said, a few of these are going to be thrown in there just because I came across them in their Christmas movies. You might or might may or may not agree. The list order might change for some people. Number 16, Christmas in Connecticut. It's a 1945 Christmas rom-com. 
maybe or something if you're into the rom-coms check it out number 15 rudolph the red-nosed reindeer 1964 it is an animated stop motion animated it is the classic check it out you gotta watch it relive those kid years definitely worth something during the season number 14 how the grinch stole christmas how could you go wrong with that how could you go wrong with how the grinch stole? this is the 1966 version by the way okay so it's a classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 1966. If you want one of the classic ones, it's definitely worth the watch. 13, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, again, yeah, that is uh, more of your animation. It's fun. I like it. A little on the darker side, but worth it. If you want something of some goofy laughs, how about National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation comes in at number 12. If you like the National Lampoon's series, that is worth a check. Number 11, Carol, based on um, Patricia Highsmith's novel, The Price of Salt. It's, you know, it's around the 50s era. It's a classic Hollywood romance, but it has uh, some charm to it. It's just called Carol. Number 10, White Christmas. It's, uh, you know, for Christmas classics, are more classic or more Christmassy. I mean, very few are, are, are more Christmassy than the 1954's White Christmas. We're checking it out. I mean, it, it, put it this way, it represents the peaks of all four of its cinema icons. I mean, Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, uh, Vera Ellen, uh, and the catchy tunes that have endured in our culture and consciousness for a reason. Check it out, number 10 of White Christmas, a classic there. Number nine, The Shop Around the Corner. Yeah, it's uh, Jimmy Stewart. Gotta love that one. Home Alone, classic series. Home Alone, Home Alone 2. I like them both, but number eight is coming in at Home Alone. It's a must watch for my daughter every single year. And number seven, A Charlie Brown Christmas. Can't go wrong with the Charlie Brown Christmas. Number seven, gotta watch the Peanuts Gang. Number six, for the kid and all of us, especially those of us that grew up in the 80s, number six is Gremlins. Yes, believe it or not, it is a Christmas movie. It is. It takes place in Christmas. It's classic. You can't go wrong with Gizmo. Check it out. Gremlins, number six. Number five is Elf, Will Ferrell. Can't go wrong with Will Ferrell. Check out Elf. Basically, it's a movie about Will Ferrell being an elf. <laughs> Number four, A Christmas Story. Yeah, that's a classic there as well. It's a sweet one. Definitely worth a check out, A Christmas Story. Number three, now we get into some really good classics, which always make my season, because we're heading to number one, which is the ultimate one. But let's get to number three, Miracle on 34th Street from 1947. The most successful holiday films are those that recapture what it's like to be a kid again. And the original Miracle on 34th Street pulls this feeling off effortlessly. It's just, ah, yeah, it's just heartwarming. Check it out, Miracle on 34th Street. Definite classic to see. Number two, A Christmas Carol from 1951. It is a very British adaptation of Charles Dickens' classic Scrooge tale and is one of the finest takes on the well-tread, well-thread material. I I mean, it's just it's just well done it really is check it out christmas carol from 1951 and the ultimate the ultimate 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 christmas movie that you should see every christmas or even during the year it's a wonderful life number one it's a wonderful life yeah jimmy stewart delivers an all-timer performance as a fragile man who finds the true meaning of christmas where it resides with those we love. Check it out, A Wonderful Life. If you don't cry at, at the end of the movie, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> there really is. It's A Wonderful Life. Check it out this Christmas. All right, that's about it. Hey, you know what? I figured the time is going to go into overtime, and we did. We're, we're pushing the 10-minute mark on this, but, you know, 30 is a lot to go through. Some of you might agree. Some of you may not. Please, by all means, go over to Twitter or share your opinions at Matt Soapbox. Let me know if you change the order or any other movies that you would recommend from the Christmas season that we could add to that list or even the order or what's your your favorite movie Christmas season wise I'd like to hear from you check that out also please check out getoffmysoapbox.com for more information on all our shows in our FAQ section or our social link also any support that you can offer you can find all that information on there as well as our newsletter that you can sign up for to be notified about all our shows hey you know what thank you very much for joining me on this Friday been a pleasure having you here as always I'm your host Matt Morgan I appreciate you. I hope you have a tremendous weekend moving forward. By all means, keep your integrity in check. Set the positive example the world needs. Be the best you can be. And I will see you next episode.